welcome to part two of my three-part fairy wing video. Uh, you want to make sure that you use fine glitter, not the big bulky ones, but super, super fine glitter. You get to use a Hobby Lobby or you can go to Walmart and get a bigger thing. It comes in a cube instead of a cylinder. I just use tacky glue. You can use regular Elmer's glue. It doesn't matter what glue you use. You want to have your water bowl with your paint brushes and you're going to have the glue watered down. So you can either put the glue in a separate little container and then add water to it. Or what I did is I put the glue on top of the wings and then took the brush with a lot of water on it and spread it around. That way you don't have too much glue on there. The paint is optional. You don't have to paint your wings if you don't want to. Um, I paint them just because it helps the color be more vibrant and you can see a lot better the glitter when you have the color of the glitter already underneath. It also helps whenever you are doing glitter that you're not confused. You know what color goes where and whatnot. If you use white glitter, it's not optional. If you use white glitter, like this, if you use white, decide to use a white color, you have to paint the wings white. Otherwise, it's not going to look white. It's just going to kind of look semi-shiny, but it's still going to be the color of the wire. All I use is just regular acrylic paint. It's $3 for a big bottle, a dollar for one of these. And then the question I've been getting a lot from the first video is what is the clear plasticky part? And that's this. It's cellophane. Um, you find it in a big roll like this. I actually get mine at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Walmart, you can get it, actually you can get it pretty much anywhere. A lot of people may not know what you're talking about when you ask for cellophane. So if you go in and you're like, hey, I need cellophane, where do I get cellophane? And they're like, what the hell is cellophane? Then just say, oh, I need, where's the wrapping paper? My cat. I can make one and a half pair of wings with one roll couple tips with burning cellophane. I actually have a scar right here on my finger or my hand. It looks like a cigarette burn, but it's not. I actually burned myself from melting the cellophane. You want the fire to be right next to it, and you just kind of go back and forth. You don't want the fire directly underneath. You have to take your time whenever you're doing the melting of the wings because you can burn yourself. If you accidentally over melt the cellophane uh, that has glue on it, that has the adhesive, it's going to turn black because the glue burns. Doesn't matter what spray adhesive you use, you just need anything. I use this. When you spray it, you don't want to drown the cellophane, you just want to lightly spray it. Hairspray on your hair, you don't want to drown your hair in hairspray, you just lightly coat it. Same with this, don't drown it, coat it. Good luck with your wings. Part three will be out soon. So we're just going to skip over part one. If you want to see how to find the boning, you can click on the link in the description box for part one. And we go straight into painting the boning. It's very easy. It only takes about one coat. And we're going to just paint one side, let it dry, flip it over, paint the other side. Um, the paint takes about three minutes to dry. You can wait for the paint to dry or you can actually go ahead and start gluing on the glitter while the paint is wet. It's up to you what you want to do. This is honestly the easiest process of making these wings is putting the paint and glitter on. Now, as you can see with the glue, I put the glue on top and then I take a wet paintbrush and brush the glue so it's even and it's not in big clumps. And then with the glitter, I have a piece of paper underneath where I'm spreading out the glitter and that way it's so I don't lose a bunch of glitter. I can kind of keep it all together and put it back in the container instead of losing a bunch of it or having to take the entire big piece of paper I have on the floor up every time. It's just efficient.
The glue does take a little bit longer to dry. I would leave it alone for a good 30 minutes because the glue has to dry through the glitter and it might take a little bit longer. You definitely want to wait at least 30 minutes to an hour before you put the cellophane on. But once you have both sides painted and glittered and they're for sure dry, you can go ahead and start putting cellophane on. And what I do is I cut the cellophane out in pieces so it's easier. And you spray the adhesive on the wire and then you spray it onto a cellophane and then you just fold it over and press it down really tight. And then, of course, you're going to go ahead and burn the edges. I explained in the beginning how you want to be careful not to burn yourself. Um, another thing I forgot about it is the lighter. It does get really hot, especially these small ones that I was using. So what I would do is burn it for maybe 30, 40 seconds and then let the lighter cool so you don't burn your finger. Because I actually burned my thumb as well as my hand. If you have little pieces that just are not going to fit, like they, they show up, the cellophane, you can overlap it and no one will, un like you can't see it. That's the best thing about using the cellophane, I think, is whenever my wings tear or whatnot, I can just take a patch of the cellophane, glue it on, and no one can tell that there's a patch on it. It's kind of fantastic. If while you're burning the edges, a little piece burns through to where you can see the wire, it's okay. As long as it's glued down, it will be fine. Don't worry about it because a lot of my wings have that little opening on the wire end where I accidentally burned it too much. And they're fine. They, it doesn't really bother it. And that's the finished product. I don't know if you guys have students, but it does need to be 